here today is my bowling shoe. It's a 3G, and I really liked the shoe when I first decided to get it. And the reviews were decent. There were some people saying that it, they weren't that comfortable, and it didn't have a lot of arch support. But, I don't know, to me it did. So, I liked them, and mostly I thought they were like really cool looking. Now, previous to this, all my bowling shoes, they've only lasted maybe like a couple of years. They were normally like, you know, $80 uh, bowling shoes. So, these are very light. They were over $200. So, my wife surprised me and she bought them for me. So, I was really excited. Well, unfortunately, last night I was bowling and the sole basically ripped apart pretty good. So, I was really aggravated when that happened. Um, and then I looked when I, well, later on when I got home... I was trying to figure out how I can repair it, and I realized that the heel also separated. So, like I said, I really like the way these look. Um, they have, you know, interchangeable slide soles. I, I love the shoe. But I'm really disappointed with the quality. After I start, well, after it ripped over here, and I actually got a better look at how it's designed, I don't really like it. I don't really think it's a good quality, to be honest with you. But I like the shoe a lot. I'm going to try to repair it. So what I have over here is, uh, what would it be? Okay, Shugu. The reviews are pretty solid with this in comparison to some other ones. And I have these spring clamps. I have a bunch of these spring clamps. So I'll be able to uh, use the glue over here, that where it was, you know, where any of the, where the seams are, and then clamp it together. So hopefully this works because I don't want to throw these away and have to buy another $200 pair of bowling shoes. So, man, it's so unfortunate. All right, let's do it. All right, I thought I got the clear shoe goo, but it's actually like black. So hopefully I don't have much of a mess so it doesn't leak over the side of the shoe. Um, I think it's gonna be better if I put some in this container and then use this to try to scoop some up and kind of like get it in between the, the sole. So let's see. I scoop it up like that. Let's probably do a little bit first. Let's see, I'll start with the back. This is crazy. Like I still can't believe this happened. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain in the ass too to get it inside. This is this is unbelievable. Now, I think bowling shoes in general are not really made that good. Any bowling shoe. The only. <laughs> It's funny because the only bowling shoe I think that is actually kind of kind of good and reliable and made pretty well are the, uh, the rental shoes from the centers. So, I'll put a little bit extra. I think I can afford to have a little bit in the back. No, without it leaking out. The way I was looking right now, I don't feel confident about this. I don't think it's going to work. It's really unfortunate. If this doesn't work, I think I'm going to make my own bowling shoes. Because, like I said, most bowling shoes suck in the fact, uh, well, in regards to quality. You know, the, the soles are very light, which they have to be, I guess, for performance-wise. But being this light, they just... The, it just weakens the quality of the shoe. I mean, it's, you probably won't be able to see what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to get some of this shoe goo inside over here without making a mess on the outside of the shoe. Grew up in a place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Every move was on the page, but I didn't like their way Had to fight and misbehave, had to find a way to change Had to leave to find my way Caught up in a daydream, I be in my mind up there almost daily It's how I pass time, no opinions safely It's how I understand what I want in this place, see Cause everybody wanna tell you bad things, what could go wrong, what fame brings But success is a finicky thing, and if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down, myself
You know, it's so crazy. <laughs> you won't believe this, but uh, my wife bought the, uh, yesterday, it was a, exactly a year since my wife bought these shoes for me. The warranty expires in one year. It was exactly one year since this happened. So, this is unbelievable. What a mess. No, these clamps are not going to work. Well, let's see. Hopefully the pressure the weight's enough to, um... What a mess. Well, it's glued into place with the shoe goo, and I don't feel confident. This looks like shit, to be honest with you. And I don't know if it's going to work. My wife wants to buy me some new ones, but I hate to, uh, I hate to spend the money. <laughs> I mean, you should have lasted way longer. Don't look that good, but here's the repair so far. <clears throat> Alright, so I got it glued up in the heel, and I have it glued up on the side over here. And for now, that's pretty much it. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if another week from now it opens up on another part of the shoe. That's just how these things are made really cheaply. And I hate to say it, but. I think especially this brand. We all know what happened to Jason Belmonte when his heel slipped off and fell. <laughs> you know. But uh, it's unfortunate. Hopefully this works. I'm going to put some weight in the shoe. And uh, and that's going to that's gonna be it. Alright, so here's the final review of this uh, shoe goo uh, using it on this bowling shoe. Um, i got to say, I'm really impressed. Not with the shoe, but um, with the way this uh, shoe goo actually worked. The only thing I did wrong was when I put the weight on it, it kind of slid the, um, I guess, this top part of the shoe over the sole a little too much. But nevertheless, it's a really, really strong bind. So that's good. It's, uh, it's been about 48 hours. It says top cure in 72 hours. It's been about 48 hours since I uh, put it on and tried it. And like I said, I'm really impressed. And look at the heel. The heel is really good too. I mean, this separated really easily. I mean, you can't even pull it apart. So, for what it's worth, um, I th I'm impressed with it. So, if you want to save yourself $200 and buy another uh, pair of bowling shoes, you just go ahead and buy the shoe goo, and this will certainly solve your problem. So, all right, cool. Thanks for watching.